step 2A. This is the child short. Here's the backs. They're face to face, double notches in the back rise. The fronts, face to face, right sides together, single notches in the front rise. So open that up that you can have a pair. Side seams together, take a back, put it on the front, back, put it on the front. Now you have two sets. It should have a front and a back together and what we're going to do is line up the side seam and start putting pins. Line it up at the hem. Come on up to your pocket. Let's line up the waist. And then the side seam where we've joined the pockets. I'm going to line up the outer edge of the pocket. Looks, it looks good. We've put the front and the back pinned together so far right now. And we're looking at the back. Great. Now, let's get one key pin right in here. Right where we've stopped and started that little understitch. So I'm going to work on lining up my two side seams and making sure that those are exactly on top of each other. That looks good. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down the side seam, around that pocket, back down here, back down, and we'll finish the edge. Here we go. We're at the hem. Let's do a little bit of a back stitch. You may have half inch seam allowance. And you're going to stitch right past that a little bit, that stitch that's already on the side seam, right up until you where you see our notch. There's our notch. And then we're going to pivot. And we're going to pivot onto the pocket. seam allowance. Now we don't really have to go across the top here because this is going to get caught in the waistband, but it's just easier. Let's go across the top, join them together. Right there. Okay, now we need to stitch down to where this is joined because this is the start of the side seam pocket opening. Right there is that opening. It's not the whole side seam, just part of it. Little back stitch. Trim those threads nice and close. And now we're going to finish the side seam right where we made that little turn. We're going to come back up. Let's go ahead and trim our threads, nice and close. Down here at our hem.
And if we open up our side seam, we're going to see that we don't see that stitch. And then we get to the pocket opening and we see our little under stitch, which is our edge stitch. For a child's hand, we have that little pocket. That looks really good. Let's repeat this with the other side. Let's go ahead and line this up. Put a pin up here at the waist. Where we start stick stitching the pockets together. The pocket edges. Jump down to that hem. Great, I've got all those edges, the side seams, and then I've got that one key pin right there where that back stitch ends. So I have to make sure those side seams are lined up where I want them to be. Bring that a little bit forward. Get that pin in there. Great. Okay. Let's do a little back stitch. We're going to come right down onto the garment. So you're going to go inside of that stitch line, right inside of it a little bit. We're down a half of an inch. We're going to pivot. So a half inch across the top. And let's go ahead and pivot around the bottom the outer edge of the pocket. Now let's get onto the body of the garment. Right onto where that pocket edge stitch is. We're going to turn. I think I'm going to go a little bit further. One more stitch. Two more. There we go. That's a good place to turn. Now when we turn, we're going to be past that other stitch. We don't want that to show. And we'll stitch our half inch down the side seam. Finishing with the back stitch. Here, we've got to do that one last little stitch that goes from the side seam down to that special spot. Do a little back stitch. There it is, that little back stitch that gives us our hand opening and we close the top of that side seam. Let's trim all of our threads nice and close. And let's take a look at our side seam. That looks great. We see our little pocket opening for a child's hand, and we don't see any of the other stitches. That concludes step number 2A.